In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how you can improve your pocket presence in Madden 23 and why you should start focusing on pocket presence as one of the key features in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna learn any of my offensive and defensive eBooks, make sure that you join our Patreon page as it's only $10 to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at pocket presence in Madden 23 and why it is so important. So to do so, I figured I would jump into um, DB Fire out of dollar. And we're just going to show you kind of the basic idea. So with dollar, the basic idea here is that the pressure is going to come from the outside. So the reason this blitz is so good against a lot of players is because they back up, basically they back up into the blitz. So you'll see here that if I just put five people out and route, this blitz is really, really good. But a lot of times what people do that hurt themselves is they drift back, back, back. And then what that does is that screams in at them with two players, okay? Um, or another thing they do is they basically freeze. They stand still. And you see here that again, it comes in really, really hot. Now, the blitz is still going to come in with what I'm about to show you, but what I'm suggesting to you is the way pressure works in this game is it's very powerful from the edge, but the actual interior pressure is, it's honestly not that as good as it's been in years past. So what you can do here is you can actually step up into the pocket, and you see there I was able to buy myself a lot more time. So you essentially are looking to climb the pocket, especially with the blitz like this, where... You know, you can climb the pocket and kind of look at where that DT is, and you don't want to step up too far that you're actually stepping up right into the guy, but you can kind of use your judgment here. But like I said, you can kind of step up here, kind of step up, and it gives you just a little bit more time to make a read, okay? Now, when you block a running back, it changes everything. So with Dollar here, we're just going to block our running back. We're going to slide protect opposite of the running back, and then we're going to block uh, ID the corner. Okay, what you'll see here is now I can step up, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. So what I wanted to also do is tell you um, about, a, about a drill that you can do that I really like that will help with this as well. So play action is another great tool. So just by canceling play action and then again working on stepping up or however you want to manage the pocket after that. But the simple drill that it basically is, is we're going to come into practice mode here. And practice mode, by and large, has the best sheds in the game. So you're going to come out in a nickel normal, and you could come out in any four down lineman rush, really typically what I like to do. And you're just going to work on climbing the pocket. Now, some plays in Madden 23, if you double-click left trigger, you can actually get, like, you can cancel the drop back. So you see here how my guy doesn't move. That's primarily because of certain plays in this game have that, and certain plays don't. If you ever are in a play where they do drop back, one of the things you can easily do to kind of deal with that is you can just move the guy to the right. Just move him a step to the right, and you see how I'm just working on... I'm not really worried about the routes. Like, you can put routes out here that you want, but the main thing that I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to learn how to navigate the pocket as best as I can. So I would really encourage you to work on this. I do this every day for probably about 10, 15 minutes, just work on the pocket presence. Um, and it really has helped me get better. The better pocket presence you have, the better passer you're going to be in this game. And this is a year where pocket presence has mattered more so this year than probably any year that we've played Madden in, a, in the recent memory, at least that I can think of. So you really have to work on this. This is something that's really important. Um, again, just climbing the pocket, climbing the pocket, climbing the pocket. And then what you're trying to do is say, okay, you know, how can I create the most time for myself inside the pocket, right? So if I'm here, I don't have to keep going until I'm getting shedded like that right there. So the other thing about this drill is what it will train you to do is it will train you to come up here and to gradually step up into the pocket as you're working through your reads. The reason this is important is because let's say that you do take a sack. If I take a sack back here, I'm going to lose about 10 to 15 yards. So to a sec a, on second down, it's going to become second and 25, right? If I take a sack up here, 
Now I'm only going to lose maybe one. Even right there, I gained two yards. So a second and 25 to a second and eight, even though it was the same basic result, right? And so that's something that I just really wanted to hammer home with you guys is the importance this year of learning how to take sacks that don't result in 20 yard losses. And this is something that I'm telling you is really hard. Uh, I don't do this perfect by any means, but what I'm suggesting is that we all as a community need to get better at this, you know, learning how to step up into the pocket when we're starting to break down. Now, I will say that in trips tight end specifically, play action is a little different because of just the way the blocking, you see how the blocking kind of pinches inside like that and the pocket doesn't as naturally form for you. Um, so, you know, that's a little different, but you still can step up into the pocket just like that right there. So, you know, there's times where you want to eat a sack. And another thing you could do when you eat a sack is when you climb up, you can hit left trigger and basically click the right joystick in. So by holding left trigger and then clicking the right joystick in, you can just fall, right? So if you're ever in a situation where like you're getting absolutely screamed at and you don't want to risk getting a, like an intentional grounding or something, you can just fall. You step up and fall for like two yards, okay? That's something super simple that you can do. It will help a lot with the D lineman picks. It'll help a lot with avoiding sacks. But honestly, if you if you play on conservative specifically, and if you're not trying to throw when you're getting hit, um, you don't have to necessarily do this because you won't you won't fumble. You know, it sounds kind of weird to say, but I have noticed myself even like even though it's a video game, you just really don't want to get sacked, right? You just really don't want to get sacked. There's like this fear of taking sacks, and just like in real life, right? But what I would say is in this game. You know, obviously it's a video game. Um, you know, it's important to be willing to take sacks. It just really is. Um, you know, your player's not going to get injured <laughs> taking a sack. So please take a sack. Um, I'm just telling you, it's going to ch change how you start playing. You're going to, instead of throwing interceptions, this game is all, in my opinion, if you throw interceptions, you will really put yourself in a hard spot in this year's game. So you don't want to do that. So we would rather take a sack or we would rather when we step up in the pocket, I've noticed one thing with free form, when you use free form, you rarely get um, intentional groundings. So if you step up or you're getting screamed at, let's say you're getting screamed at and you don't have anything open, okay, all you gotta do, click the right joystick in and you'll be able to just throw the ball away. So I'll show you that real quick here. So again, we're here, oh, we're getting screamed at, we'll just throw the ball away. And I'm telling you, a lot of the times, you won't get intentional groundings, especially if you're using the freeform passing. So here, oh, nothing there. Okay, we're throwing it away. You see how quick I can do that. So if they're sending everybody at me, you know, let's say they're, let's say they're really sending some pressure at me, okay, and I don't have any pass protection set up and I can't make a quick read, all right, we'll throw it away. That's it. Just simply throw the ball away. So, guys, those are a couple of ways that you can improve your pocket presence in Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video. And, again, if you want to learn any of our offensive or defensive ebooks, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks while your membership is active. Thanks for watching. The link is in the description to sign up if you want to go check it out.